Well, we mentioned a big cheering section for Luis Castillo tonight, and we really got a special story brewing. He is from Villa Fundacion and the Dominican Republic, and he has over 50 members of his hometown here, including to my right here is his brother. He's the first one from their city to make it to the major leagues, and they came prepared with this special sign here, and down here it says, Our Pride. And I got to tell you, they're fired up. And they're even more fired up after the strikeout of Conforto. Yep. Got him swinging to end the inning. Three strikeouts in the game for Luis. No score. We head for the third. The Mets have a man in scoring position for the first time tonight with Jeff McNeil coming out. All he's got to do is push it past the pitcher, it and that's a big hit. And he does. Votto will field it. Castillo covers. Not in time, and the Mets take the lead. They dared him to do it. And the squirrel takes advantage. One nothing, New York. Been two walks in this inning from Vargas, who has now walked three tonight. Here's Winker. He was the hero last night. Curve ball, grounded to the right side. McNeil cut, hustles in to get it, and that retires the side. Vargas works around a couple of walks and his own error. One gone. Here's a Eugenio Suarez who has struck out and grounded to short. That's a drive hammered back into deep left center field. That baby's out of here, and we got a tie game. Line drive home run that climbed out of here to the left of the 370 marker in left center. Suarez with a number seven bomb of the year. It's a 1 1 ball game here in the sixth. And Robert Gazelman will take the turn to bat. And Gazelman oh. takes ball four. How about that? How can he throw a change up? 1 0. Oh. Now the pitch. Swing on a check swing roller back to the mound. Castillo has it. Will underhand to first in time. Votto takes the throw. McNeil is out 1 to 3. But it does get Gazelman into scoring position with one out. And here comes Alonzo in a 1 1 game. Swing and a miss. He's one upstairs with a heater and struck him out. They've got two on now as a result of walks, and Conforto will be at the plate. And on we go to the seventh. How good is Luis Castillo? Seven strikeouts in the game for the Reds' ace. Todd Frazier leads off the home seventh against Luis Castillo, and he drives one deep left field. Forget that. That is way out of here. Todd Frazier gives the Mets the lead with his second home run of the season. The former Cincinnati Red wasting no time greeting Castillo in the bottom of the seventh first pitch long home run two to one Mets. On the first pitch from Jerry's Familia Joey Votto singles sway on a fly ball shallow center coming in Lagara still coming still coming makes the running catch they're going to have Votto doubled off of first the throw on one hop to Alonzo and Votto is out. Well, I'm not sure if Lagares might have tried to decoy Votto into thinking that ball was going to drop, but a veteran like Joey Votto just made a brutal base running mistake, and the Mets take advantage as it turns into a fly ball double play. It's a double for Jeff McNeil. They'll bring up Conforto with two out. First pitch. Swing on a ground ball right side. Base hit right center field. That will get McNeil home from second. He comes home standing. Michael Conforto against the lefty delivers a big RBI single, and the Mets have taken a 3-1 to one lead. And the Reds have the tying runs on base here. Kyle Farmer will come off the bench to pinch hit. He pitches, and it's a looping liner into right field, and it's a base hit. And a run is home, and the Reds have drawn to within a run at 3-2. This would be so big for Jose Peraza to be able to come through right here. And a base hit in the center field by Peraza. Lorenzen races for third. Close. Two out hitting by Peraza, and it's a 3-3 game. J.D. Davis was double switched into the game in the ninth, so he'll get his first plate appearance in this game. 3-2 coming. And he lines one left center field. That's down for a base hit, and it'll go to the wall. Davis on his way to second as Dietrich finally plays the carom. J.D. Davis with a 10 pitch at bat, resulting in a leadoff double. Mets have put runners on the corners with nobody out to begin the 10th inning. A fly ball can win the game with Pete Alonzo at the plate. And he flies one out to right. That'll win the game. That goes Puig into the corner. Makes the catch. Trying 
Sunday. The score of the winning run is J.D. Davis, and the Mets have won it in walk-off fashion. Pete Alonso's first career walk-off RBI, and the Mets win it 4-3. to three.